Hello everyone, my name is Ian. Welcome back to my hobby YouTube channel in brief book and film reviews. Today I just want to come online and give a review to a film that I watched that was really good. I was thought it was, it was really worthy of, of coming online and uh, giving a review to this film is called uh, The Crew. Okay, so this film is uh, based in Liverpool, okay. The certificate is 18th. The running time is 117 minutes. And as I said, based in Liverpool, the it's a British crime thriller, um, and it is uh, based upon the novel uh, written by um, I think it's Kevin Sampson, uh, Outlaws, the novel Outlaws, written by Kevin Sampson. Okay, so it's got a really good cast. They done a fantastic job in the acting as well. I thought the acting was sublime. It really was. Um, standout performances for me was. Uh, Scott Williams, uh, the lead guy, the main guy, played a fantastic part in that. Um, Kevin Doughty, uh, the runaway, uh, runaway soldier within his firm, and that um, played really good. His acting skills are really good. You'll see, and uh, and also as well, um, I thought um, the acting skills of I think it's uh, Stephen Graham that was in the Irishman. Um, the Liverpoolian that was in the Irish man and that they played uh, one of the mafia guys um from New York I think or something like that. Uh, he is in it as well and that and uh, there was a scene between him and S Scott Williams. It was a very intense scene, but it was really if you watch it, it's great acting in it. You know, like it just uh, it's just really good scene and that right at the end and that well near the end and that. So I just thought um, that for me along with that that scene. If you put that in the trailer, just straight away, you know, people, what's this all about? Um, really good film. Now, I've just written down a couple of a couple of things and that, you know, it's got some other really good actors in there as well, and that actors and actresses and that. Um, Rosie Fellner is in it. Cordelia Borgija, I don't know how to pronounce that name, right? And Rory McCann, I think he's a Scottish actor. Uh, he plays a Scottish guy. And he's got that uh, other... Um, actor as well he used to be in Bruxad can't think of his name now <laughs> but uh yeah it's got him in it as well and I he played a really good part as well uh and the budget was 3.6 million okay so uh, about the film it's basically um as I said modern day Liverpool um there's um heists you know involved um gun and robbery heists and stuff like that yeah, there's a firm there uh they're into everything basically you know from heist drugs the whole lot and um they kind of want to uh keep expanding there's a kind of like a, a an AWOL soldier within the firm um that being um Doughty um Kenny Doughty and that and he <clears throat> he uh basically gets himself um you know entangled in in, in trying to um come out of the shadow of Scott Williams, who was the, the ringleader of, of um, that particular area, the firm of the area and that. Uh, they're all answerable to Stephen Graham, who was like the big, big boss. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of twists and turns in, in, in the film, a lot, a lot of violence, a lot of uh, harsh violence, unnecessary violence. Uh, but it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a crime to lie, you know, and it's everything that goes on in modern day, um, you know, modern day anywhere. And it's not just, this goes, this type of stuff goes on in Liverpool and, Dublin, Ireland, and in, in Detroit, America, uh, Ontario, Canada, it goes on everywhere, you know. Like, so, um, yeah, it's a really good film, and I really enjoyed it. As I said, 117 minutes run on time, and that so, um, it's it's a nicely, uh, nice film uh, as a time in time in terms of time, time wise, and stuff, and that doesn't go overboard, and it's not too short as well at, at the same time, and that so, yeah. So that was so. This is it. So um, I just wrote down a few things. Uh, what I got from the film and that basically realistic storyline. It was realistic storyline and that you know it wasn't kind of unmake believable. You know it touches two parts. It touches like two cities and that. Uh, in terms of the drug leading and stuff as well. You know, um, um, not like geographically in in terms of like um. Uh, going from one city to the next it's just in terms of criminal organizations and gangs and that it touches uh, two different types of um, well cities and countries and stuff and that um yeah so the storyline is realistic um of the underworld in liverpool as i already stated and that uh, the cast was immense the acting was really good i, I really uh, really liked the acting and that you know 
uh, so a lot of unknown actors that I didn't see or maybe I hadn't noticed them before on that. Uh, Scott Williams, I, I'd never seen him before on that and like he, he was like, it, the film was fantastic. Like with him, his acting was brilliant and it really was like full credit to him on that, you know. Um, and K Kenny Doughty, I, I don't think I've come across him before. Uh, Stephen Graham, obviously a lot of people is very familiar with him. He's a good actor. Um, as I said, standout performances there. So yeah, so it was set for eight eighteen. Really good film and that. Um, there's the front cover again. And uh, yeah, if you're if you're looking for a good uh, some here it says a brutal and storm and this is an absolute must see. And that's from I think Zoo. Um. Yeah, a grip and British so I don't miss it. That was by loaded. Uh, just uh yeah really good film and i'd i'd recommend it if you're into that type so every once in a while like uh, i'd put these ones on and that i wouldn't be mad into them and that but i'd put them on uh, you know for something different than that i uh, actually looking at the front cards ah this is a bit low budget and that you know but um no it was really good the acting was really good the storyline was very believable uh just the scenes the areas the scenes uh all set set in a play in a, in a place and that you know in liverpool and it was really good i really enjoyed it so that's it for me for this week and that the next um one i'll be doing was a uh, is a book called running with the kenyans Um, just finished up reading it one of the last books i read uh by adarahan finn i think his first name is adarahan adarahan finn and yeah so i look forward to seeing that so if you want to stay tuned for that one uh, next week um yeah that's it for me anyway so i hope everyone's doing very well on that today um, and hope things are going well for you. Stay positive and stay blessed.